Welcome to my channel and to this video. Today I've got something really interesting to share with you. I've been working on a couple DIY MIDI controller projects and this is one of them. Well, meet the Crosshair. kind of a prototype. In this video we will dive into the hardware and functionality of this device. In the description you can find a link to the github repository with the project and scheme. So let's get started. Here we have the heart of this device, the Arduino Micro. Almost in all my MIDI project I use this revision because it has a Atmega32U4 chip. This chip allows me to use it as a plug-and-play MIDI device without having to install any drivers. It also has a decent number of pins, both analog and digital, to connect a different number of sensors and much more. Next we have here two laser engine sensors for distance sensing. In compared to standard ultrasonic sensors, in my opinion, they provide more accurate results in the smaller size. And lastly, we have OLED screen and set of buttons for menu navigation. Speaking of menus, let's move to the interface of this device. Well, we will start with the first option and go from there. Side is the setting for selection the sensor, left or right, for which further setting will be applied. Next, mode. Here we have a choice of six options. Note, in this mode device will send MIDI signals to play a note depending on the hand position. Note inverted at the same principle as previous one, except that note will be lower if the hand is further away from the sensor. Control change. In this mode device will send control change commands. To demonstrate this mode let's move to Ableton. Here we will assign control change to some parameter. Control change inverted works in the similar way as note inverted, but with control change commands. In velocity mode, we control the velocity of the next played note from another sensor. And the last mode is inverted velocity. Next configuration is root node. Here we choose from which note and octave the scale will be built. And here is the scale choice itself. It has 24 different musical scales inside. Notes and distance tab together define the maximum sensor range. MIDI interval is the minimal time interval between MIDI messages. And the last two settings are selection of MIDI channel and control change parameter. This device can also save all these settings in non-volatile memory and automatically load them when the device is switched on. And that's it! You can find all the links in the description of this video. Thanks for watching!